Hi there, Chris here. I want to call it your attention to new cups on the lock bench here. So these are Trader Joe's Dark Almond Butter Cups. Well, now Trader Joe's was started in, I want to say Pasadena or South Pasadena, just the town south of me. But uh, I believe they're owned by Aldi. So people who have Aldi stores in Europe or Germany, I know Germany, may be able to get those there. But that's not really why we're here. We are here to open a package. Ta-da! And this package is the brainchild of Mr. Joe Picks. And what it is, let's see if I can do this. It is a double challenge lock that he put together. And it comes with a little book. And I was sent, it was sent to me by Steve Holder. And if you get it open, wh whoever had it last sends you some goodies in it. So we'll see if I can get this open quickly. And not cut myself. And always cut away from yourself, but they say not very good left handed here. There we go. Whoa, that's part of it. I should have done this before and I may I may go back. But let's see. Whoa. Alright, so it's very, very well packed Steve. And I will take it off camera to get into here. Okay, here we go. This is made, as I said, by Joe Picks. Let me get this out of the way. There's some, um, <clears throat> there's some addresses there that I'm covering up. Here we go, we got rid of those. And, oh wow, oh wow. So Steve Holder, made a custom tensioner for this thing and he shows it in his video that is totally awesome oh and there's stickers inside i gotta put my sticker in there snake i think snake had it before i dropped this steve holder and we'll get this out and i will put a uh, suki sticker on there oh i guess the book is inside is that i'm thinking so we don't know about the book yet. But it is all locked up. Has two locks. This one I believe goes uh, clockwise. This one I believe goes counterclockwise. So I'm, I'm going to... Well, I should read this. I thought I had a book. Thanks for receiving the joint custody lock. One of two original LPU community lock swap project boxes. Some of the rules... Below, we ask you to follow and keep the project fun and interesting and engaging for others. Must open package and make first a, a picking attempt on camera, which I will do. Be sure to block out any addresses. And I was, I think I was okay with that. Attempt each lock in, okay, in the initial fi fi uh, filming. So I'm going to try both of those. Um, post an unlisted Unlisted video of opening and initial, wait a minute, post an unlisted, unedited video of the opening in your initial attempt. You may upload a public video, edited video, video if you wish. Share this video link with the person that passed the box on to you and the group. If you wish to make a, boy, edited public video, you may uh, do so. Please do not post public video of gutting locks well that makes sense uh, upload challenge lock blah 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 blah, blah. okay i think you, you have a, a week you have this for seven days and you got to pass it on win lose or draw if i got that and there's more stuff okay so i am going to attempt like it says in the initial opening and you saw me initially open it um right off the bat and We'll get into this, and I'll try it for a bit. 
and I want to just see how this that is a brilliant tool that is that is something and one of the reasons I, I asked for this and it only fits this one and this one he came up with a uh, two two-way kind of a float thing and one of the reasons I asked for this is I just wondered how the universal tension wrench would work in it so, and it doesn't really, you know, hold it for counter, but we don't care. Um, what do we got here? I think this is a Tapini. So, I'll give both of these a little bit of a shot. And see where we get. Alright, we're into a little bit of a false gate. And because, alright, I'm going to give some shots here okay way lost my false gate i mean my false set and what i usually do to compensate for this um not being able to be tight in both directions is i usually choose a pick that has a if i can a wider a taller shaft so i'm going to go to a monkey paw if i can find it I might even try Joe Pick's Monkey Paw. So let's try that. Let's start over and give it the Joe Pick's. The, whoa, full ring. You know, I got fumble fingers. These are such hot picks that they jump out of my hands. All right. Well, nothing like a live video. All right, let's get into this to make you look silly. I'm gonna go in the back first. I don't know, just... So, this is so wide that even this, this tall shaft is not affecting it much, but you could put a little bit of Spanish or English on it or Portuguese. All right, a little bit of a false set. Come back to one again. Once one. All right. I think one is where it's going to be for now. At least for now. Two. Nothing. Three. No. Nope, I lost my false set. Dropped one. Yeah. I can tell this is going to be fun. Do I have a leashy for this? <laughs> I don't know. I'll try that later. Sorry I'm blocking your view. Yeah, I can see why Steve was going round and round and round, and I may end up with his tension wrench because that thing is just a that's a brilliant, brilliant piece of work, my friend. Okay, so obviously no no push over here. A eh, couple of couple of sets. Let's try this guy. Now this guy needs to go counterclockwise, if I remember correctly. So <laughs> it's gonna give us some trouble doing that. But maybe we can use the universal tension wrench in a different manner. Like, like that. So I'm tensioning this way. All right, here we go. And I may have to go with a slimmer shaft for this. It's feeling that way. So I have a teardrop here, I think. Let's try that. And here again, I can tell just right off, not a pushover, not a pushover. I didn't read if you have to single pin pick it or if you can uh, rake it or rock it or send it to the cleaners. Let's see, what do we got? I 
that is not the right one. Let us try. Running out of time to try stuff. Let's try the snakey rake. Yeah, this is this keyway is uh, not liking these this rakey rocky stuff. All right, we try my pick, which is just a feeler gauge and eighteen thou. Which will certainly reach up in there. Okay, I got a little bit of a set going on. This is a brilliant idea. All right, so there you go. I've got a, a try. I didn't get nothing going on there. So I have given it a try. Uh, this does come out. I think it's magnetic. Do I have a magnet to pull this out? No, that's not magnetic. It's a, oh, magnets hold it in. And this is some gum. No, oh, the keys. We don't want to touch those. So leave those just as they were. All right, there you go. Joint Custody by Joe Picks. The one, the only, the brilliant Mr. Joe Picks. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to be working on this. And we will see you next time.